Franny, Kayla, Max, Callan. Kaylin. Kaylin Callum? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm gonna butcher this. What's your name? Sunshine. 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 Yeah, you can't that's remember. Won't forget that name. <laughs> hey, y'all, 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 y'all got easy. <laughs> okay, well, wait. Should I just go ahead and start it? It's recording. It's always recording. Oh, shoot! Okay, okay. Well, hello and welcome to my podcast. I'm Sunshine Fennell. And with me today is Serenity, Caleb, Max... Kaylin and Callan. Callan. <laughs> you know what? I was close. Yeah. All right. And um, my major is media design and production. So, and my concentration is journalism. So I've been um, interning with a radio station and writing like, a lot of music reviews and stuff. So I was like, why is, might as well do a podcast about music, right? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. today we're discussing the type of music college students are currently enjoying. And the first question is, we're going to go around, I guess, and who are your favorite artists? And do you have, like, a top three? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got to do some thinking. I would say, I don't know if I could do top three because I don't memorize any names. <laughs> That's <of> fair. <laughs> any of my artists' music that I listen to other than Eminem, and that is because I grew okay. up on Eminem. That's but fair. other than that, it's just a mix. I of love people. Eminem. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm I'm a huge Eminem fan as well. Uh, I like I, I like a lot of rap. Drake, uh, J Cole, Kendrick Lamar, mm, Kendrick, uh, <laughs> Jordan Lucas, um, and then I also like a lot of like like Hosier, Culture Wall, uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers, <laughs> stuff like that. I'm a big musician. Like I actually sing in a band. I've got music out on. Spotify, YouTube, Ooh, period. all that kind of stuff. Yeah, we should so. listen to it at the end. <laughs> uh, listen at your own risk. It's, it's, uh, it's three guys. We all mixed and mastered everything by ourselves. It's not like we got like a recording label or anything. So yeah, it's it's okay. It's still, it's, it's around it's the bonfire. Cool, type yeah, music. No, it's cool. No, it's a lot of fun, and like I'm glad that I had the opportunity to do it. And I mean, like I think it sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> but the production level, I don't think, is the best. But, you know, what I mean, are you we're just do? starting so, off, right? Yeah, no, yeah, this is our first album. The, um, yeah. We're working on our second right now, but there have been issues with our main mix master dude. So uh, it's been it's been taking a minute to get the second one out. But when it does get out, I think that one sounds a whole lot better. So we'll see. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I also don't think I could do a top three, but <laughs> I have a top two. It was just two, a suggestion. Okay. First one is a band called Swing Rose that does electric swing. Mm-hmm. I used to be an engineer and had a desk job, and I'd just sit there and type, and that was one of the main groups I listened to. Like, i just put headphones on while working. Got you through the day. And second one is a band called Tame Impala. Yes. <laughs> I discovered them. Actually, I work retail, and so I'm at the store putting stuff on the shelves, and I heard it on the radio. I liked it, and they played the song twice, and I was able to remember enough lyrics, so I just <laughs> get out my phone and type all the lyrics into Google, like, what is this? And yeah, that's how I found them. That's amazing. I love it when that happens, when you yeah. find music off of radios. Shazam, so helpful. And the rest of it actually ends up being good. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right. Mm-hmm. Um, the first one for me is obviously Pearl Jam, one of the uh, one of the best rock punch bands from the '90s. I actually went to uh, a concert of uh, theirs last month in, in Nashville. Mm-hmm. The thing about that though, it was actually supposed to be a gift on my 16th birthday, but then COVID hit, and then. Yeah. You know, the rest is history. <laughs> um, second one is definitely a country band called, called Little Big Town. Oh, yeah. I actually am related to one, one of the members, Karen Fairchild. She and I are first cousins. Oh, that's Ooh. so cool. That's cool. Yeah. A little bit of, a little bit of fame to the family name. <laughs> <laughs> I have too many. <laughs> I'm going to list them all. Okay, go for it. So, I love Flight of the Concords. They're nice. been with me ever since I was a kid. Uh, I really like NSP, or Ninja Sex Party. Yes, I do too. <laughs> <laughs> I, one of my favorite bands. 
Uh, really like Ghost, that kind of rockin' kind of band. Uh, Hans Zimmer, any of his work I really like. Bo Burnham, just like his yeah. stupid Amazing. Stuff. So good. And then Old Crow Medicine Show was another one that sticks with me. Mm-hmm. So I bounce around to like everything I can. Of course. Those were good ones, guys. I would say... Man, I didn't even think about this for myself. <laughs> <laughs> I would say my top three probably be, um, well, it changes, but at the moment, Greta Van Fleet, Kendrick Lamar, and Steve Lacey. <laughs> What's your favorite Kendrick song? Ah, oh, my gosh. I've been listening to his new album recently, mm-hmm. and I went to, I saw him in concert this summer yeah. in Nashville. Oh, man. It was amazing. And I went and saw Greta Van Fleet in Knoxville like a month ago, so that's why I'm listening a lot. My favorite song probably is United in Grief right now from the okay. new album. Okay, I like N95 from the new album. Yes, I love that one too. One. And DNA, of course. Of course, and it's a classic. Lisa. And Everything by Kendrick is yeah, just really good. Honestly, <laughs> if you all listen to Kendrick, then you should. <laughs> <laughs> all right, the next question is um, what are your preferred genres right now? And do you think it's like changed as you've gotten older? I and would- why? <laughs> I would always say I'm a bit of everything. Obviously, with I could never pick one out, so I took one of those quizzes that like tells you what you're into. Yeah. And everything was just a variation of rap. Mm-hmm. So I guess that's the genre. <laughs> but if it's in pop or sad or hard rock or just whatever will make my car shake as I'm driving down the highway, yes. is yeah. what works for me. But I've noticed that a lot of my songs started out... Um, being like basic, walk it out, uh, rap music, just hardcore, sad rap. And now I'm listening to more like indie rap and more chill songs, mm-hmm. except for when I'm driving. And then I go into my old 2000s phase. Yeah. And then I know them. <laughs> just the car shakes my <laughs> Um, I also, I mean, rap is probably my favorite. Also, I forgot to mention MF Doom and uh, uh, Lil Wayne. <laughs> but, um, yeah no I mean I like I I used to really just like like hardcore rap mostly just because like I like the lyricism especially that's why Beautiful. Eminem is my yeah Eminem is my favorite yeah. because of the lyricism that he he's got I mean he's incredible so uh definitely rap is probably my favorite right now I like pretty much everything though I've recently started getting into like uh, like country but not like the the yee yee you know in your pickup truck type stuff i cannot deal with most of the pop country that goes on nowadays but like like a culture wall if you haven't heard of him he is Mm -hmm. a great country musician who's just like old school country yes i love i've gotten back into old school country because anytime i listen to pop country i just think of bars yeah it's pretty awful but uh, yeah pretty much anything but old you know, like pop country. Yeah. Yes. I'm, I agree. <laughs> As for genres, that's that's a hard question for me because it's I just know. a bit of everything. Like, I got 80s, 90s, like early 2000s. Early 2000s. Just anything from those years? Almost, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I have yeah. a like a big list of all the songs I like and it's it's just all over the place. I don't think there's any like any one thing all the songs have in common. Yeah. It's just when I like a song I'll add it to the list and that's pretty much it. Yeah. Yes. It's a great yeah. quality to have in a person. <laughs> it really is. Absolutely. Well, having grown up with of listening to a lot of country on the radio, oh especially when it comes to the late 2000s. I, I was born in 2004. Mm-hmm. So, 2003. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> I think definitely yeah, get behind, you know, the um, country dra- drastically shifting since it's a genre that's been with me for majority of my life, yes. right from the moment I was, I was kind of born. Yeah. yeah, especially around here. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, honestly, yeah, for me it's quite complicated too, since, since I branched out in, in 
a ton of different genres. Is mostly thanks to my dad, and he was in the in the classic rock uh, stuff since the six, the late sixties mm -hmm. and, and the early seventies. But yeah, it's complicated for me. It's fair. Understandable. Same. Yeah. I, I've been doing a lot of stuff. I don't really choose like one genre. I guess the one that like has stuck with me would be like video game type music. Like any okay. from a game or from like someone <laughs> making a song from a game or because of the game. Mm -hmm. All of it's just awesome. But same, yeah. Same interest here. Yeah, just bouncing around. Mm hmm I got to the point where I started listening to Minecraft music, so I can sleep at night. It's so good! Especially, like, the discs that you can oh play. Oh my god. I just There's said, so they're like, where's ones. disc 7 again? <laughs> Give me. <laughs> yeah, I was just curious to know, because I know, like, me and my friends, we basically listen to, like, a lot of everything. But mm -hmm. I'm like, maybe, maybe some students have, like, specific genres that they listen to, blah, blah, blah. Maybe it's just not just everything. I did <laughs> have, well, I do have a friend who's very redneck country, oh, who yeah. only mm. listens to mainly country. old country. Yeah. <laughs> and by Disgusting. God, if he ever <laughs> if he ever had to be strapped to a chair and listen to rap music, he would die. Oh my God. He's one of those people. And I'm like, listen, you're a great person, but I could never hang out with you in a car ride. I'd have to have your buds in. I can't listen to all your music. Your 10 songs will not soothe me. <laughs> yeah. So that's my issue is that like, you know, you've got to have at least some variety, man. Yeah. You can't just listen to one genre the entire time. Yeah, like even rap. After a while, it's like, dude, give me, give me some, give me some rock, give me some contemporary. I need, indie. I need something like, with just a chorus. <laughs> yeah. yeah, pretty much. Oh, real quick, I'm, I'm gonna take over for you. So I heard uh, 03 and 04. Everybody's got to just go ahead and list the year that they were born. Oh, uh, <laughs> why? Because I'm interested now. I want to see if I'm the oldest one in the room. Yeah, I'm 19. I'm 04 again. You were the one who sounded, yeah, because you said you you sounded like you were also not in the O. Oh no, I'm in the O. Okay. I'm in the O two. Okay. okay, okay. I was okay. just like, whoa. Yeah. I was born in '98, so yeah. I'm I'm a I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Big old. I'm '97. Oh man, oh. dang. See, okay, now we know. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's do a question. All right. Third question. Do you think? Okay, this one's kind of funny to me. Do you think any artist or any type of music is overhyped? <laughs> it's not overhyped, but there's this... Okay, I used to grow up going to church or being forced to go to church, even though, you know, kids, when you're, like, five, you don't want to go to church. Right. <laughs> but uh, when I was up in Kentucky visiting family and we had church week, we'd go to church and it was a beautiful piano. We all sang together. It was amazing. I come back down here, and my family's like, we also want to go to church. And they took me to, like, this place called Venue or whatever. And I've never been stressed out listening to anyone's type of music. I could usually listen to whatever I want. But the second they went, here is a very good old Christian song. Here's some horrible pop music. How about we do that? And I'm like, no, I can't. I'm not at a concert. I'm in a church, but there's strobe lights and flashing. I'm like, where am I right now? God. God's not here with me. I'm having a seizure. Like You're about to meet him. Yeah. That's what it felt like. I'd be sitting there going, I can't feel my bones. They're all vibrating out of my body. God. Um, so you said artist or genre? Yeah. Or type um, of music, whatever. So <laughs> Your nerves. <laughs> as much as I like him, Drake's a little overhyped. For uh, sure. Especially <laughs> after the Take Care album. Mm. Um, and, you know, I used to think that Lil Baby was pretty overhyped, but I've been listening to a lot of him recently, and he's actually not that bad. <laughs> um, but otherwise, I'd have to say, like, EDM was so big for so it, long. It was huge forever. And I just... Yeah, I'd rather gouge my eyes out. <laughs> <laughs> my, my mom and stepdad went to one of those, I don't know if it was like EDM based, but it was just like just music, no lyrics. And I'm like, mm -hmm. it's it's nice, mm -hmm. 
for like scenes in a movie no. or going to enjoy lasers at a concert <laughs> if you are into the vibrations of bass going through your body, which I can deal with until it gets to my chest. But yeah. other than that, it's not like everyday love music. Well, I had I had an ex who was really into like, she was a rave girl. Oh. And I tried really hard to get into it for her and it just... It, you, you, you have to have a certain... I couldn't do it. You gotta have a certain steel bone in your body to enjoy it. Yeah. I wanted to enjoy it so she, bad, yeah, but if did. I stand just the smallest bit too close to any sort of giant speaker, I'm like, I can't do it anymore. Just like those cartoon skeletons that just... That's what it felt like. Yeah. That's yeah. what it would feel like. I, yeah. I can't either. Pretty much. Alright. Next. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> See, also a hard question. I don't... <laughs> no genre or artist really bothers me. I, I don't judge. Like, people like what they like. Mm -hmm. I think the only time a, me a piece of something music will actually like be annoying is like when I'm listening to it over and over. Yeah, like, understand. I'll repeat. This, oh, going back to the retail job I mentioned. There's, I remember once this kid like had a toy that would play the Baby Shark song. Oh no! <laughs> they were, like, so, they were like there for thirty minutes. Oh and they my just, god! Like, the I button. went. I, love that. I went to. Pride downtown like last month mm -hmm. and there was a drag queen show which I am all for oh, yeah. but like the opening act was them dancing to baby shark and I literally uh -huh. wanted to no. die so we're just, we're just on baby being played too long. I was like why are you guys doing this that's not very pride of you <laughs> Like, yeah, actually very homophobic. That's very homophobic. <laughs> why, did, why was that the song you chose? To That's, yeah, literally. I was like, did y'all interview straight moms? And it was like, you have a single child. What's the worst thing you have to listen to all the time? And I'm like, oh. that darn shark going off every 20 minutes. That darn shark song. It was a little, it was a little rough. But <laughs> it was hard. Baby shark. All right. Uh, I'm... Not sure. I I mean, ever since I've been listening to music, I felt like nothing was really overhyped in my opinion. Since a lot of the artists that I've been listening to can kind of seem on on level almost all the time. Mm -hmm. But um, honestly, I'm, I'm not sure if. if I've ever, I've ever experienced any overhyped music or artists. Fair enough. Yeah, understandable. Uh, when I was in middle school, I really did not like rap specifically because that's when rap like really blew up. But only one song. And what so song? That's all I heard it was the Whip and Nene song. Oh god. And so oh. I heard, like, okay, <laughs> that's I'm that's done fair. With it. How much did you love that? Uh, Bro, I love that though. In middle school, like near the middle school dances, I would be like, move out the way. The, I okay. Would be, the first time it happened and everyone was like dancing to it, I was like, holy shit, this is awesome. And then, like, it just kept getting played and played, oh. and people would say it, like sing it in the hallway. And I was like, guys, please, there's other songs that could be also cool. Just wow. stop with that one. I realized it's after going to a wedding that two songs that will never ever die and at some point I'm gonna wish that they did was the cha-cha slide <laughs> yeah and that yeah. other song because one of them started playing and I just remember sitting there being like you know I thought I was done after middle school I thought I was just done and I'm like you know what I can't do this song anymore <laughs> you know that song that's like Four hops, four hops. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, I think that's the cha cha slide. Oh, is yeah, it? Yeah. The cha -cha yeah. Slide. yeah, like there's the cha cha slide and then the I Cupid was like, Shuffle. Well, that was in my head. Hey, okay, the, the Cupid, Cupid Shuffle. Yeah, that's that's always one. One. But there's also, you brought up like the Baby Shark song. Hmm. Some of them I really just don't like because they're really annoying, but I hate more the people that use those songs. Yeah. Those yeah. Creepy yeah. adults. And it's like, can you guys use yeah. that? This is that's really weird. Yeah. It's adorable. Like, like it. It's adorable when a two-year-old's sitting there in front of you with a little shark toy going, baby shark, baby. And you're like, themselves. oh, that's, they're so cute. And then you sit there for a minute and you're like, that's adorable, but can the box shut up? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I can listen to you because you can't get the words right every five minutes. I'm listening to a different rap version yeah. of this song. But this <laughs> box right here can go on repeat. Yeah. It's the same thing with those, like, uh, the fish on the... 
like the wood little plaque that you put in your office that sings to oh, you. Oh, yes. yes. At a certain thing. point, yeah. you yeah. want to shut it off. Those are creepy. Yeah, they are incredibly creepy. I don't like, understand why those were a thing. I either. They were supposedly funny. I had a What's parrot. What's funny about talking about a fish and it just starts singing at you? I don't know, man. It, I, I don't know. They wanted the entertainment. <laughs> yes. For true spooky people, they just are like, Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. never a dull moment when yeah. the fish goes off. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, guys, we are wrapping up to our last question, and then we'll have final thoughts afterwards. All right, so this kind of like ties into the first one, but like, not really. Is there just like a certain artist or song that, like, when it comes on, you're like, This is my song, it has like a certain meaning to you? Just like from family, friends, whatever. Like it might be a wild thing about this one. But... Yeah, I definitely always have like set aside songs. Something I started recently doing was having songs that had either moments or ties to them and tie them to people. And then my clo- the longest song I've ever had was "Hey There Delilah," which my dad mm. and me would always play whenever we were going in the car or going to Kentucky or something. But other than that. I would have, like, my favorite song would be Without Me by Eminem. And then the first <laughs> song I ever remember liking as a child, like, we're talking backwards car seat liking, was <laughs> Walk It Out. If you ever actually oh, listen oh to that goodness. song, you'll be like, hmm, maybe a two-year-old should have not had that as their oh, no, first no. Lovely, loving song. <laughs> no. But no, I was with my mom and my dad, and they were sitting there like, we will teach you the ways of rap. And that was my, my first song. I was like, we need to play it, walk that. it out. Mm. Uh, I got a couple. Uh, the first one is Beautiful by Eminem. Okay. Uh, that helped me get through some, some rough times. Yes. Um, and then also Hey There, Delilah. That's another great song, just because, like... Um, I play guitar and I sing. I play a whole bunch of other stuff. And my mom always loved it when I played that song for her. So she would always ask for that one on repeat. <laughs> that and um, I'm Yours by Jason Mraz. If, you've had, if you haven't heard that song, it's a great song. I've just played it 9,000 times over my life. So I can't do it. Um, and then another one. Sorry to get sad on y'all. But uh, Wish You Were Here by Pink Floyd. That was um. one of my good friend's favorite songs. And he just died here recently, mm-hmm. so. I'm so sorry. No, it's all good. It's, yeah, it was just, I played that a lot, especially, like, after he had passed away, I played that and played that at his funeral, so that was a, that's a big one for me. All right. You gotta follow it nice. up now. Yeah, sorry about it. <laughs> oh, sorry about it. <laughs> oh, dude, don't worry about it. Hmm. I guess for me. Like a particular song, or like it changes. Like I have, looking back, a different song for each year. So I guess the song for twenty twenty two is "Borderline" by Tame Impala. Either version is good. I like Tame Impala. It's a good choice. Uh, honestly, the songs that kind of, kind of stick, stick out to me are ones about about life, cherishing the moments, like. Which is a concept everyone can relate to. And definitely the top one for me is Unstoppable by Rascal Flats. <clears throat> Where it just sends out this, that makes that message straight out. Um, it even says it in the lyrics. Like there's one online and it says, Keep on believing, don't give in. Which is just Literally, a, a phrase ingrained into the back of our, into all of our heads. Mm-hmm. Nice. I have a lot as well. <laughs> oh, <laughs> people that are fun, she's like, all right, list number twenty. Oh yeah, <laughs> no, I'm making a list. <laughs> so, a song that I really enjoy because it just has like one really good part in it. It's all good, but that one part is "Danny, Don't You Know." That one yes. is so good. Yes. Um, and then like ones that hit me deep down is like. Friends by Flight of, Flight of the Concords because my parents play it, and too many D's on the dance floor. That's one I should not have heard when I was a kid, but I loved it. Um, and then, like, Fallen Kingdom, even though it's a Minecraft song and it's like, haha, funny, funny, it like, I remember watching no. that and crying. Fallen Kingdom, that is not haha funny. 
That is a very sad <laughs> animation. That will make me cry every time I watch it. It's so intense. And then another like just really good one was Starlight Brigade by Torp or T W. T W R P. Yeah, T W R P. I yeah. them yeah. too a little bit. They're so good. Speaking of another song that you probably ought not have listened to at that young of an age was. Um, Oh man, I can't remember the name of it, but it was by Akon, and I just remember my aunt playing that all the time. And I like, I went back and listened to it a couple years ago, and I was like, oh, "That's really off color for like a <laughs> four or five year old to be listening to." <laughs> when you're young, you don't really yeah, pay attention, no and then when idea. you get older, you're like, "Holy crap, they have <laughs> yeah. lyrics!" That is what happened to me because I I would always remember I was like, "I want to listen to that song, Walk It Out," that I loved. I only remember the chorus where it just constantly told you to walk it out. And I was playing that song, and I was just like growing more and more concerned as the song went. I was like, "What is going on?" I, I learned these words as a child. Yeah, well, my one of my favorite songs when I was little was um, "Girls" by Beastie Boys. Ooh, that <laughs> yeah, was a good it's a great one. Song. And I'm I'm pansexual, and then when I came out to my mom, she was like, "Yeah, I mean." <laughs> You were always playing girls by these two boys. Kind of figures. Like, so, one song kept playing, you know. Like, if you like some girls, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I feel like because my parents played that song, it's the reason why I'm, like, part of the community. I'm like, oh, yeah, you know. girls. <laughs> but I, from, from my artist that I love, well, one was that, because that song, Grown Up. Whew. But, <laughs> but I also... Like, I don't really know if I'm pronouncing his name right, but Hosea, Hosea, yeah, I think it's Hosea, I think. You know, that, like, his, all his songs, like, when it comes on, I'm just like, I need to go my happy yeah, place. His voice is just... Yeah, it's just so beautiful. It's, it's I mean, he's, he's an angel. He really <laughs> is. You just reminded me, there was this, I was, I had read this one, like, fan comic that, like, ended being like all cliche with like words singing in the background and it ended up playing stand by me and now i'm sitting here like every time i hear stand by me i now have to have a slow dance with someone some point in my future because of a fan comic i was like this is evil <laughs> get me attached to too many songs like this no i get you for real all right any final thoughts this this whole thing has been about just getting to know like everyone's just different college students, like, preferred genres, artists. Because I'm just curious to know, since I've been writing a lot of music reviews and stuff. Mm -hmm. Any final thoughts or anything else? Not really. Uh, I would just say that <coughs> music is wonderful. I agree. And Absolutely. That, yeah. Music is wonderful. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, and that it just, it's so good at invoking emotions and like, no matter how awful your music might sound to me, <laughs> uh, I'm talking mostly to, you know, pop country, <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's pretty incredible that so many people like so many different genres like that because it just shows the variety, not only in people, but of just the music that people are able to make and like put out there and people still like it. Mm -hmm. That to me is actually crazy is that there's not just one uniform. Like if you watch in movies, like a lot of the times, like, yeah, you've got your different genres of movies and stuff, but like most people like the same type of movies. Mm -hmm. People like all different kinds of music. So I just, I think that's cool. I think music is uh, the universal language. It really is. Mm -hmm. It's a special place. In my heart. Yeah, yeah, same. <laughs> you reminded me that it's pretty interesting because I think music's the only thing, me personally, where you could find any song for whatever situation you're in. Yep. Because there's a song out there about it. Yep, yep. No, and that's, yeah, like I said, it's so good at evoking emotions. Like, it, it's just so good at taking a moment and being able to, like, personify it. You, just, you gotta like small human brains enjoying noises together. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Noises in a certain pattern that sound good. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Well, this has been our, my music podcast. Thank you for joining, guys. And I hope everyone has a great day. <laughs> yeah, thanks for having us.
Oh, that was my first podcast. So I did good. Oh, <laughs> Great job. Is that the recording anymore? Oh, oh shoot.